Aaron, Alec Manoa was tough on you guys first couple times through. Your home run really seemed to change the energy of this game. How were you able to attack him in that, that at bat? Oh, man, you know, Alex, man, he's one of the best pitchers in the game right now. Um, you know, great two-seam and four-seam fastball, can throw a nasty wipeout slider at any time. Um, you know, honestly, got up there, you know, sitting on slider, sitting on slider, and was able to kind of spit on a couple until I got a good pitch to hit, which was a fastball. But, uh, you know, I don't know. I was just trying to do what I can for the team. And, um, you know, everybody in the lineup was grinding, even though we weren't really, you know, putting up the numbers. Everybody was, you know, trying to grind them out a little bit. We worked his pitch count up. And then, you know, luckily I was just able to get one over the plate and, and do something with it. 11 game winning streaks do not come around very often. What is your favorite part of how this team is rolling right now? Just it's, it's a different guy every night. It's not the same person every single night. You know, last night we had Glaber Torres score all our runs. Um, you know, tonight a lot of guys contributed, but you know, pitching staff picking us up. So I think just collectively as a whole, you know, just the team picking each other up, and uh, that's what it's going to take when you're playing 162 against some of the best teams in the game. Man, you got to everybody's got to contribute. Marwin hasn't played a whole lot tonight. He gets in there, and gets a couple of his drives and run, and somehow weasels away out of that that uh, run down there. What would you see on that? Wow, you know, Marwin, man, he's, he's a ball player. He's a gamer, you know, and um, just with what he can bring, you know, playing, you know, all the infield positions, play some outfield for us, come off the bench and do what he does, you know, come in, you know, and like you said, not playing every day and then come in and face one of the best pitchers in the game like that. It's tough to do, but he, uh, you know, he came up big for us. And then on that rundown, man, I got to, He's got to teach me some things, man. I was, uh, I was, I was, I was pretty slick right there. Aaron, it's eight home runs for you in ten games. The last time you accomplished this was in 2017, and we know what that year was that like for you. Is this the best you've been at the plate since 2017? That you felt at least. It, it, it's tough to say. You know, I think the biggest thing is just you know being healthy and being out there and being able to do what you need to do. You know, when you got nagging stuff going on, it's tough to be at, be at your best, but. Uh, I wouldn't say this is the best I've felt, but, you know, we're, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. What is there. it about this 10-game span, the, you know, particularly with this 10-game span that you're performing so well and, you know, accomplishing probably what Yankee fans particularly like you to accomplish? Uh, it's, it's tough to say. I'm just trying to do what I can. You know, when I got, you know, Anthony Rizzo, John Carlos Stanton behind me, Aaron Hicks, LeMahieu in front of me, man, they... You know, they, they push you a little bit, you know, because they're always getting on base. They're always having good at-bats, so it just, you know, it motivates the team, motivates me to go out there like, hey, I see these guys raking. I got I to gotta try to do the same thing as them.